Happy New Year everyone and welcome to my channel. It's 2014. Can you believe it? Because I certainly cannot. I'm having trouble processing that thought in my mind because I feel like yesterday was January 1st, 2013 and now it's almost like halfway through the month. It's even more than halfway through the month. January 2014. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> I am so happy that it's 2014. I don't know why, but I'm very optimistic this year. I've never been more optimistic in my life. Crazy, I know. So, um, for this video, since it's the first like um, year that I've been that I've been here on YouTube, I thought why not do a yearly favorites video for you all. And in this video, I decided to do like 13, 13 products for the year of 2013. Hopefully, in the year. In like in the year of 2014, I'll do 14, 14 favorites and so on and so forth. So let's get started. I have 13, 13 products like that cover a variety of kind of categories beauty, skincare, like makeup, skincare, hair care, perfume, and accessories. So let's get started. And the first category I want to cover is makeup. And, and the first product I want to talk about is actually a base, and it is definitely my favorite product, my favorite primer. My favorite, my favorite primer of the year, which is Estee Lauder Illuminating, Illuminating Perfecting Primer. I I noticed that I talk a little too quickly, which is wild because I'm not a native a native speaker in the first place. So this is Estee Lauder Double Wear. Oh no, it's not Double Wear. It's Estee Lauder. It's uh, Estee Lauder, Lauder Illuminating Illuminating Perfecting Primer. Yeah. And it's such a good primer because like I've ever since I started wearing makeup I've been so self-conscious of this area in my face. I feel like foundation doesn't sit nicely off on, on this spot like throughout the entire day. It kind of doesn't look nice <laughs> in here at least. So I definitely wanted a primer. I wanted a primer that will last well that will help my foundation last longer in this area. Because as I said, it's 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 not a it's my favorite area of my face. So this thing really does help my face. It's, it isn't too illuminating that you look like you're dewy or you're too mm, sweaty, I guess. It just gives like, it's to me, it's very similar to my meteorites, which are, which didn't make it through here because I only had, I only had to choose 13 products. It definitely gives like a similar to effect like the meteorites, but it's something that you wear underneath your foundation so yeah definitely definitely right. as I said foundation that was like the last, the last word I said when I talked about this my favorite foundation of the year and my favorite foundation ever is this and this is Guerlain Lingerie Depot Invisible Skin Fusion Foundation if you're wondering what shade I wear I wear the shade beige clear which is either 02 or 20 I'm not definitely sure but I'll definitely make sure to uh, write that correctly in the information bar down below. Such a good foundation. It is, this is amazing. I mean, I love it. It's very lightweight. It has such a natural satiny um, finish. So beautiful, so natural. It does. It makes my face look flawless without offering too much coverage. It has like a light to medium coverage, which is slightly visible, but doesn't look cakey ever, 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 ever. Love it, my favorite. Cannot rave about this enough. I actually wrote a blog post about it if you're interested, and I'll link it down below, down below for more information. So let's get into the products that enhance the skin and make your cheeks look a little bit blushier. The first blush, which is my favorite blush ever, and I'm sure if you've been watching my videos, you've probably heard me rave about this. I actually have a blog post about it as well because I loved it so much. And this is Estee Lauder, which is insanely expensive, but it's not Estee Lauder, I mean Tom Ford. Insanely expensive, but it's so worth the price. This is in the shade 06 Wicked. Such a gorgeous blush. It's pink, but it's not too pink. It's illuminating, but not too much. It's very pigmented. You need a light hand with it. It's, it's super, super, super easily blendable. It's, it's one of the best blushes I've ever seen in my life. Not to mention the color is beautiful. And it kind of... Um, suits my skin tones and it, it's very um complimenting i guess it complements different different skin tones love it love it love it love it love it it's worth every single penny in my opinion if you're wondering whether you should get 
any Estee Lauder, any, what song with Estee Lauder? What, what, what's up with it? Like, Tom Ford, if you're wondering whether you, whether, and whether like Tom Ford blushes are worth the money, in my opinion, are you kidding me? Is that a question? Of course they are. Yep. Next, another blush because I loved blushes this year. Another very expensive blush. <laughs> I don't know why. This is your blush in vibrant color powder blush number 566. This is called Brown Lily. It's not brown. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's like a mauve purple natural color. It's definitely not illuminating. It's it's kind of matte, I'd say. It's a matte uh, mauve purple color. It's so beautiful, especially for like um, autumn and uh, autumn and winter or fall and winter. Super super beautiful. I wouldn't I wouldn't like um, encourage people with ebony skin tones to buy this unless they try it and unless they think it shows up enough on them. I I have a feeling that it won't. But this I mean on fairer skin tone, this is this is gold. This is liquid. No, this is powder gold. It's not liquid. I'm crazy. So yeah, let's move on to the eyes. I love eyeshadows. I hate liners. I'm not big on mascara to me. Like, I mean, I, I definitely wear mascara because I need to. But if like the one thing I love about eye makeup is eyeshadows. And I have two palettes. The first one is this another one by Dior. Dior is such a good brand, by the way. Dior Five Colors Couture Color um, Eyeshadow Palette number 454, Royal Khaki. I mean, prepare yourself for something really fun. This is ta da! So beautiful. It has a matte black, which is so pigmented and so useful. And super, super, super beautiful. This, this palette here can, can help you go from the smokiest possible eyes, like classic smoky black eye, to very um, daily friendly, everyday friendly eye makeup look. So beautiful, so versatile. The colors are really pigmented. They are super blendable. They, they, they like, in general, Dior um, eyeshadows are a dream to use, especially this one because I love this type of colors. And the other one that I have is definitely very dear to my heart because it is Guerlain, and you know I love Guerlain. <laughs> this is um, your A Cream for Colors in number four, Le Bois de Rose. I love plummy everything. And this is the, um, the quad I'm talking about. I love those two colors in particular. They are, they are, mm, I don't know what to say about them. They are stunning. Look, 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 look. Isn't this beautiful? They are also such a joy to work with. The colors are so pigmented. They are very blendable. They last and last and last and last and last. And I love them. You really don't need much to, to get like a pigmented eye makeup look because they are very pigmented, as I said. Love these. Last but not least, in the makeup world, we have a lipstick because if we're talking about favorites, lipsticks are always favorites, right? At least in my world. Ta-da! Can you guess what it is? If you if you can, then you have probably been watching my videos for a while now because I always talk about this lipstick. It's always in my favorites. Always will be. Always will love. This is the third one in less, and actually in a year. And I've been saving this up for this video because I didn't want to do a favorites without mentioning this because it's so beautiful. <laughs> this is um, Guerlain Shine Out of in, in the shade 265 Pow Rosa. Now, this is so beautiful. Look, I barely have anything left in it. I have just this much left. Can you see how much I have left of it? It's beautiful. I will actually swatch this because I'm very excited about it. I'm all, I always am excited about this because it's my favorite lipstick of all time. Here it is, can you see it? It's so beautiful. It's very pigmented, not too pigmented. It's definitely shiny, but not too glittery. It lasts long for like a sheer version of lipstick. It's it's a joy. It's like a plummy red, 
purple, reddish but purple kind of color. It's it's my favorite ever, 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 ever. It's it's my kind of color. Actually, I I did a video combining my combining these three products: the Wicked Blush, the Acrin the Bois de Rose um, quad, and this together because I think they go really, really well together. So that's all for me. Now let's move uh, to skincare. I have a product that I'm gonna mention, but I don't have it like physically. It is the Dior. Um, what is it called? Dior Gentle Foam Cleanser. With I think with Lily extracts. I'm not sure which kind of extracts it has. It's like a very gentle, not so foamy cleanser. It's very very um, effective. But very gentle. I actually can can use it on my eyes and it doesn't irritate them as long as I keep them shut. Of course, I don't like. I I wouldn't put this cleanser inside my eyeballs by any means. Of course. So um, such a nice cleanser. It smells nice. It's very easy to use. It it feels very fresh. Yet it doesn't leave your face feeling super dry. Maybe because it's not so foamy, so it doesn't have like parabens or paraffins or something that helps a product be foamy. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's not foamy too, it's not too foamy. Actually, it probably isn't foamy at all. Um, it's so nice and it doesn't make my skin feel so tight and dry and horrible like many other skin, uh, um, what are you called, cleansers tend to do. And the next skincare product is also by Dior. As I said, Dior is has been one of my favorites this year along with Guerlain because I love Guerlain. <laughs> I always love. This is the Dior Hydro Life Pro Youth Silk Cream which is like the equivalent of a comfort cream which is like the cream that is um, supposed to be targeted towards normal to dry skin uh, skin types and my, my skin is definitely normal throughout the entire year but during uh, winter and fall during the colder months it tends to get even drier, which is always a pain. I never like get though I actually did get used to get like those patchy like spots on my cheeks, but not anymore. Because of, probably because of this. It's so nice. It's not it's definitely a, th a thick um kind of uh moisturizer, but not but but it's not too thick that it feels like greasy and gross. It doesn't clog pores, it doesn't do anything like that on my skin at least. And remember my skin is normal to dry. So that's probably why I really do like this. I have been searching for, I've had such bad time with cleanse, with uh, moisturizers this year and this has come like a savior, like a savior on, like a knight on a white horse carrying an armor and telling me your skin is gonna be okay. Is that crazy? Uh, probably it is. I mean, I know I can come up with, with really weird kind of, um, associations with products. I can associate products with really, really bizarre things, which you'll see in my next product, which is a perfume. I have discovered another perfume like at the very end of the year and I love it and I love it so much, but throughout the entire year and I still definitely love it. This is my go-to, this has been my go-to perfume. And I mean, when I'm not wearing this, I miss it. When I wear, when I wear, when I wear this, I missed the other perfume. Anyway, this is, I mean, you can probably tell because of the really um, remarkable and memorable um, packaging. This is Lola by Marc Jacobs. I mean, the packaging looks really, really, um, I wouldn't say that it's definitely my favorite kind of packaging, but if you are young and you are, you like to feel young and playful and I don't know, things like that, then you probably can really appreciate the beer a bit more than I do. Um, anyway, this is Marc, jo Marc Jacobs perfume Lola. It's so beautiful. It smells to me like straight up pears and I love everything that has the word pear in it. Everything that reminds me of pears because pears happen to be one of my favorite, um, uh, like, fruits. Oh gosh, I forgot the word root. Anyway, so this is so beautiful. To me, it reminds me of an app. It doesn't remind me of like a specific memory. It's actually kind of, I associate the smell with young people 
sitting in a meadow, um, slicing um, really juicy pears and eating them. And uh, like the juice is like drooling down their mouth or something like that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Again, I associate for, I associate like things with the weirdest kind of images or imagery ever. So yeah, definitely, definitely crazy. Hair care. Care care, we're getting closer to the end. This is my favorite. This is the Pito, mm, what is it called? Densifying treatment shampoo for thinning hair for women. During tr transitional seasons, my hair tends to go crazy. It tends to fall like no nobody's business. And I hate that. So this helps me a lot. It keeps my hair from falling too much, but doesn't like completely and utterly keep every hair stuck in my on my scalp forever and ever and ever definitely not um it keeps my hair feeling healthier than it is because my hair is definitely dry especially the ends of it they're always dry no matter what i use so um this comes in so handy during those times especially transition times but throughout the entire year in general this is my go-to shampoo definitely love this now into the last category Ah, uh, accessories. The first accessory is a big one. It's a handbag. This is a 9 watt handbag. I have no idea what it's called. It's like a burgundy color. It has the, it has, it has like those short ha uh, handles and then a longer shoulder strap. It's, it's like a doctor handbag, I'd say. It has like, it's, it's very um, sturdy and it has like, it, it has a very defined shape, which I love. And this is the interior of it. It's kind of full of crap right now. Um, umbrellas and um, and uh, receipts and things like that. And the other favorite is this. And this is a necklace from a um, what is it called? Like a, like it's like a local store in um, in Israel. It's called I believe it was from Crazy Line. Maybe I love it. It's so beautiful. It's not too um, too like too much of a statement. It's definitely a softer than like those colorful statement necklaces, but it's so beautiful. I wore it a lot throughout the, throughout the year. I think it's beautiful. And that concludes everything that I've been loving throughout the past year. Th that I mean, 2013 was such a lovely year. It was so calm and so relaxing and everything. And I'm very, very much looking forward to next year and looking forward to doing more videos for you guys, as well as writing more blog posts. And I hope that you enjoy my videos. So far and um, thank you so much for watching I hope that you have a great year don't forget to like this video if you did and I would love to know what your favorites were if you did like do a video or a blog post definitely link it in the um, in the description bar down below because I'd love to see that video or read that post because I'm very interested in that or if you have like any other comments any other suggestions that you have for me for the upcoming year don't forget to mention the, to mention these in the in the comment bar down below and don't forget to subscribe as well, of course. And I really hope to see you soon in my in my in my uh, next video. And thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing year and an amazing day. Thank you so much. Bye.